It's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Can you just stop eating animals? <laughs> Hi guys, Hi. welcome back. Finally a mukbang video. It's been a while. It's been a while. Did you miss us? Did you even we've notice we were gone? <laughs> we've missed you. <laughs> we've missed eating with you. I know. It feels like it's been forever and I know that so many of you have said bring back the mukbangs. Here we are. Yes. We have a new kitchen. We do. A new living room. Yeah. A new table, which is a little lower. <laughs> so, I don't have my usual cushion. Different, different, different. And it is uh, Thanksgiving at the time of recording this. It is. So it's not if you're be celebrating that, celebrate with us. Yes, um, it won't be Thanksgiving when you actually watch this video, no. but let's just pretend it's yeah. Thanksgiving and we can all share Thanksgiving dinner or lunch together or breakfast, whatever it is for you. So pause the video, grab yourself a vegan meal, and let us know in the comments below what you're eating list your ingredients so that people can be inspired to eat more vegan food. Yes, all right. We have something lovely and delicious today. We do. Burgers. burgers. Yeah, we've got veggie lentil burgers. I'm going to read to you off this packet. Now, normally we'd we make, didn't make them. <laughs> normally we'd make burgers ourselves and yes. we've got recipes. Uh, we've done mukbang videos with them before. Yep. We'll link those below. But anyway, we thought we'd buy some from the store. They were on sale. They were on sale and they're not bad. They've got carrot, potato, lentils, wheat flour, sweet potato, chickpeas, peas, herbs and spices, onion and garlic, and zucchini. Good. Not bad, huh? They smell lovely. How do smell? They do smell very nice. Have a smell. They've been smell a vision. They've been baked in the oven. Yeah. Yeah, you can pan fry them, but we'll just bake them. We've got some whole grain seeded buns. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. We have some potato fry wedges kind of thing. They've been Yummy. Um, seasoned with lots of different herbs and spices. Cherry tomatoes, cucumbers. Lettuce, all the burger fixings. Got a little um, mushroom and red onion mix here that we've mm -hmm. water sauteed up. And then we've got some balsamic beetroot relish. Yes. Nice. And some Dijon mustard. Oh, it sounds fancy. We don't have any ketchup. <laughs> And baby pulse like, remain lettuce. Yeah, yeah. I already showed you. Oh, did you? Okay. okay. All right. And we have napkins, because this is going to probably get it's messages. It's going to get messy. Eating burgers whilst talking on camera. All right. Prepare yourself, guys. All right. We are starving. We're so hungry. So let us, let us prepare. prepare. Now. Okay. Let us know in the comments below what order. Do you make your burgers in, you know? Do you put the patty on the base? Yeah. Do you put your lettuce? Well, oh, maybe different people do different down. things. Oh, okay. This one broke. It did. That's all right. The rest are intact. Okay. Go on, take yeah. those two. Right. Done. Oh, we're making two at a time? Yeah, of course. Come on, Luca, I'm hungry. All right, good. <laughs> okay. No, these are the perfect ones. It doesn't matter. No, yeah, oh, swap you. God. You took my bun. And then swap the lids. There we go. Are you serious? Where's the... Oh, I've got confused. <laughs> 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 the most like uncoordinated man know, on the face of the earth. All right. So, what are you going with? What are you next? giving me? All right. I think I think there what? needs something between the base. Oh. Yeah. God. It's going to be a long video. Prepare yourself, guys. What are you, are you doing? That no, I'm, that should go on top. I'm going to do a bit of both. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise. Oh God. You got uh, patty okay. on bread, mm. which are both you know two of the drier ingredients. I just yeah, shouldn't put, be that complicated. Put a bit of moisture between the uh, bun and the patty. Oh, how do you build your burgers, folks? That's, that's what I wanted to ask. That's, that's what true. I was asking. Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay. We've got the relish there. We've got that one. Right. I think we're going to need another spoon. I took that one for there. Ah, oh, you did. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll grab that. Okay. In the interim, potatoes. Mmm, they're good. Another spoon. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Lettuce. Thank you. We thought we ummed and art about whether we should uh, build the burgers before. I was just going to say that is a really thick cucumber. <laughs> I hate to see the look. It's like, uh, woman, I cut them, just eat it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I also uh, overcooked the potato wedges, oh, didn't I? You did. Yeah. So it got much. I've been editing. It's not that I just sit there and. Eat. <laughs> we could do stuff and not do anything. But I did uh, 
Stuff it up. A little as bit. As we say. Stuffed it up. Okay. Alright. This relish is really good. We use it with um, potatoes sometimes at night, don't we? We do. Alright. Put that one on there. Okay. Oh, so guys. A lot has been happening. A lot. This isn't really working for me. I think the lettuce <laughs> should have gone on the base. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you just eat the lettuce on the side with your hand as you're uh, eating the Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, God. Okay, mustard. Oh, no, I what? used the wrong. I put the. Uh, yeah, and you reckon I, she reckons I'm uncoordinated. I'm using a knife now. Yeah. <laughs> she reads, I'm uncoordinated. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 having oh. the tables turned. Mm. Not really. What did you do with this one? Yeah, I have no idea in what order to build these. Yeah, you, you're right, you probably should have put the... Um, could have put this on the base. Oh People probably switched off already. Come yeah. on, get on with talking, you two. So... We should have built the burgers before. Well, we just wanted to show everyone the ingredient. I don't know why, like, you've obviously yeah. you've all seen what a burger looks like. Yeah. But, anyway... Yeah, we definitely should have built... <laughs> you haven't used this yet, have you? Yeah, I have. You have? I have. Well, we've got to finish it. Why? There's two birds. I'm not building both. I'm just oh, building one. Oh, you're not one. building both. Oh my god. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm too hungry. Hold on, give me some lettuce. Goodness sakes. Okay. Yeah. I can't talk until I've taken a bite. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> These cucumbers are quite thick, aren't they? They're <laughs> quite delirious. All right. My burger is built. Oh, look at that. That looks good, that looks good, yes, yes. I don't want to drop it on the computer in front of me. Oh, let me get up. Oh, wow, Luca, check it out. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, baby. Mm -mm. All right. See, I've built both of mine in that oh, time. Wow. Talk about coordinated. No, you just, <laughs> I don't know what you are. I'm mustard, where's off. the mustard? Over there. Thank you you. got to use the, uh, <laughs> the knife. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh. Oh. We good? Mm, you happy? Mm, 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 Alright. Let's see how we go here. Mmm. Mm. This bread is lovely and seedy. And that patty is lovely. Is it? Mmm. Mmm. Well done. I wish we made the burgers so we could congratulate ourselves on the recipe. But, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Patty, everything, isn't it? Here we go. And I have some fries with that. Okay. Oh, excellent. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Nice patty. Mmm. Really good patty. Clean, tasty. Mmm. Mm. I like it. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, life flooding back in because we did record a video before this video and we've been editing, so it's been a busy morning. It has. And what's wonderful about eating this meal, a beautiful vegan burger, cruelty free, no animal's body is mm. in here, is Good. that we have spent the last, mm, how many, like almost two weeks mm. doing some, you know, street activism um, here mm. in Australia. More traditional activism. Yeah. So not online, but, you know, working, um, doing one, attending protests. Yeah, and, rallies, attending mm. um, public Beaches. outreach. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. One to one public outreach, um, vigils, that's yeah. right. And when you're Bearing at a slaughterhouse mm. and you're seeing trucks of animals pull in and you know that they're going to be killed very soon after you've just you know made eye to eye contact. It's haunting. It's kind of like yeah, mm. yeah. It's um it ain't a pleasant experience. And to know that you can still have amazing food and still enjoy burgers and that there's no need for that, it's bittersweet. Mm. You know, it's like, why is that happening when we can eat this? But it's also wonderful because mm. this is fantastic. That's right, it's mm. happening because it's hidden from mm. public view. But fortunately through a combination of um, traditional activism and online activism, mm. it, the truth is coming out. 
about the reality of yeah. where animal products come from and they actually come from animals mm. <laughs> living beings who and people know that but yeah it's like you know it but you don't know it i think sometimes you have you to just don't think about it no you know? we've been conditioned not to think about mm. it desensitized yeah. euphemisms are used you know it's yeah. beef it's not a cow that's right it's pork and bacon not a pig yeah and I don't know, it's just been very interesting and very different for us to experience that. It's the first time we've attended anything like this and, um, yeah, how would you, I mean, a lot of you guys have been loving the, mm. the content, the videos that we've made on the channel and also the updates that we're giving on Snapchat and Instagram stories. Thank you for posts. all your support, guys. Yeah, thank you. And a yes, lot of you have been very moved. Yes, moved <clears throat> and encouraged to become more active in the traditional forms of activism mm. like the ones that we've been showing mm -hmm. the vigils the public outreach the rallies protests and that's really good mm. so because we need all forms of activism don't we we As do we always said and what's fantastic these days is because you know social media has been our primary form of activism for years now because mm. it's so effective in reaching such a large audience that's right so bringing together the traditional form of activism with social media so you don't just attend the protest or the vigil but you make videos about it and post you know either live streams or whatever on your social media it's like bringing the best of both worlds together that's right it's just so powerful it's really really good um and i know that a lot of you were asking you know how do you do it like it'd be so hard and i couldn't do that kind of thing it's too emotional and um you're brave you're stronger than you think that, oh. that's our message to you guys yeah. um it certainly was philip wallen's closing message in his speech that he mm. gave at World Vegan Day Melbourne and he was you know talking about when his mum used to read him a story from Winnie the Pig Winnie the Pig Winnie the Pooh I'm sorry <laughs> Winnie the Pig <laughs> Winnie the Pig <laughs> Winnie the Pooh basically you're stronger than you think you are you're smarter you are. than you think you are you know yeah so basically back yourself give yeah. yourself it is emotional it is sad but that's why we're there we're not there because it's something happy and joyful we we're, we're there to bear witness and to share this with people because they need to see it but it does strengthen your resolve it does as a as a vegan yeah. and as a vegan activist mm. to continue to speak up for these animals mm -hmm. yeah and then so thank you for all of your support regarding those videos guys mm. we really really appreciate it mm -hmm. and we're so glad that it's moved many of you and moved many of you to become more active in those traditional forms mm. uh, and a lot of people have also said i love all of that but I miss your mukbang, uh -huh. so I you know, miss your recipe videos. Uh, so we try and do a bit of both. A bit of both, yeah. Right. We didn't have the opportunity to do this kind of um, Traditional street activism, activism yeah. in Thailand. So we're kind of just making up for lost time. We're getting involved in things and mm. yeah, we're just going to diversify what we're the, here. It gives uh, you guys some um, variety as well. Yeah. And I, I just, I think it's important to do um, for us as vegan activists, it's, it's, it's just good to get involved and to, to bear that witness. I think it is important. Mm. So, I mean, yeah, we've been witnessing the animals online through all the footage that's mm. released in all the various, you know, documentaries and YouTube channels. And, you know, we've seen thousands of, I don't, I don't know how many hundreds of hours of that footage mm. over the last six plus years of being vegans. But this is the first time we've really seen the animals in their final moments, isn't mm. it? Yeah. yeah, up close in their final moments. Mm. Even just being in the vicinity of a slaughterhouse, you know, like it has an energy to it. You mm. know what's happening right there. And Hearing. it's just all very real. It's yes. very, it, it takes it off the screen and makes it very real. It's sort of imprints in your heart and your mind and you get home and it's like, I'm a tad exhausted, <laughs> emotionally, physically, everything. Mm -hmm. But it does so, strengthen your resolve. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, it's been a, a challenging but very good um, last couple of, I think, you know, weeks or whatever it is. Mm. And it will continue. Yeah, so, there's more videos coming, so yeah. stay tuned for those guys. Yeah. And we'll intersperse them with things like mukbangs, recipe videos, mm. live streams. Mm -hmm. As we've always done, mm. providing you guys with a variety show. That's it. Anyway, because of Thanksgiving, mm. I wanted to say I am very grateful for our beautiful audience, talking about this topic, who stick by us through so many changes that often happen in our lives. 
and James is on the channel and support us along the way. Mm, and we've met so many of you here in Australia, haven't we? It's been really, really good. That's been one of the highlights. Absolutely. And if yeah. you missed our World Vegan Day Melbourne video, there were more hugs in that video than at uh, Woodstock. <laughs> that, <I'd say>. was, <laughs> that was incredible. It was mm. really fantastic. So I think we're feeling very grateful um, for these experiences. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Now I'm grateful for you, Buggerlogs. I'm grateful for you too. <laughs> All right. So since we've been... Um, you know, not doing these kind of videos for a little bit. We've had a heap of things sent to us. Please, guys, respond and react to this. This is. Mm. Which one we going to start with? Well, well, we'll stick with the first thing I want to say. Yeah, we can't respond to everything. No. A lot of things are now outdated, so mm. we're just kind of catching up. All right, Thanksgiving theme. Right. So, um, the Hunger Games star Josh Hutchison. The headline of one of these articles reads is to drop veganism for Thanksgiving. Okay. So, basically, Josh Hutchinson has been eating a plant-based diet. And for Thanksgiving, mm. he's going to not eat a plant-based diet and incorporate some animal foods because he's going to his grandmother's. His grandmother is uh, famous in her family for her mac and cheese and he doesn't want to upset her by not eating it. Yeah. Uh, he's happy not to eat you know, her ham, her turkey, and of course it's not his grandmother's ham or turkey. That is the flesh from a turkey, that's an animal, mm -hmm. and a pig, that's an animal, yeah. that wanted to live, that has been... Slaughtered. Slaughtered. Okay, Lord. so if, if he wanted to eat her ham... She'd have to chop part of her leg off. Right. And she ain't going to do that, and he wouldn't eat it anyway. Yeah. The positive is that he's made great changes to his diet, and it's a great example, and it's fantastic. I mean, if everybody changed to a plant-based diet the way he did, we'd have a completely different world, wouldn't mm. we? Right? So it's a very, very, very positive, and he's a great role model for so many people who are also wanting to make uh, better health changes in their diet. So that's a thumbs up. Absolutely. And he's raised an interesting... Um, point of discussion. He has, he has. Now, you know... In terms of the sense of, is veganism the same, one and the same as a plant-based diet? That's and we've right. We've spoken about this so many times over yeah. the years on this yeah. channel. And we have a video that is called, I think, uh, you're either vegan or you're not. It does matter what language you do use, it does matter what words you use, it does... It matters, okay? And I think... Um, if you haven't watched that video, we're going to link it in the description below. Please mm. do check it out. Mm -hmm. It is very thorough, mm. uh, very detailed, and yeah. it gives the full context to what Natasha's just said. And we won't go into all the details, mm. but I do have to say that after spending the last you know, couple of weeks doing the work that we've done at Slaughterhouses, there's I'm a... sorry. <laughs> get the... Oh, <laughs> I'm getting angry. <laughs> There's a world of difference There's between a world of veganism difference. and a plant-based diet. And it just, you kind of change forever, guys. And so this kind of stuff really pees you off more than it usually used to pee us off. Um, you know, he's not dropping veganism because he wasn't vegan, right? He's eating a plant-based diet. Again, that's fantastic. But you don't just drop veganism because you want to have your grandmother's mac and cheese. It doesn't work like that. So let's just use the correct language in the correct context. So... The correct language that should have been used by Josh, also by the uh, journalist, is plant-based diet, and we should have just stuck to that. Hmm. As soon as you say he's dropping veganism, it sounds like a light switch that can be turned on and off at will. But that's, it doesn't work it that, doesn't way. Work that way. It's not a it's not a fashion item that oh, changing with the seasons. It's an ethical connection that These once made. These matter. Yeah. Okay, so he says, oh man, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Mm -hmm. I'm vegan plus. It's like vegan plus some other things I want to eat every now and again. Like my grandmother makes the best macaroni and cheese on earth, and it's like, I'm not going to have a steak, but vegan, vegetarian, whatever. I'm just going to be doing a plant-based diet. I've just been doing a plant-based diet. No. So, mm. so, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. let's remove the word vegan, uh, the ve word vegetarian. Yeah, okay. That would seem to work if he's avoiding meat. He could be a vegetarian on the day. Mm. Yeah, sure. So the word vegetarian is appropriate in this context. Then. Sure, but you can't be a vegan plus. Mm. You know, just don't make things up. Yeah, what this does is it, it does confuse people, especially people who are maybe following him that are just like, 
eating what he's eating, which again is great. Yeah, but I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a no, plant-based diet. But you, again, you don't just drop veganism. I mean, it's just it's confusing. I'm very frustrated. I'm getting all yeah. heated about that. Uh, sorry, I said there's nothing wrong with a plant-based diet. If you're not living a vegan lifestyle and you're just eating a plant-based diet, then yeah, there are some things that are morally wrong, like supporting animals for entertainment, mm. testing the pet industry, so on and so forth. So I just want to retract what I said earlier. <laughs> what, I went, what I should have said, and what I meant to say was, uh, we're not having a go at Josh, or, or it's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> can you just stop eating animals? Can we do, you know when we say vegans are loose, we can do? That's what we mean, mate. <laughs> it's great. It's Go to the slaughterhouse. It's great that Josh Have a look at these dairy cows. Have a plant-based diet. And then talk to me about your grandmother's mac and cheese. I just, I can't anymore. I and, just can't. and look, it's possible that, it's more than likely that Josh doesn't know about the cruelty in the dairy industry and the egg industry, just as we didn't once upon a time when we were vegetarian. And so that is where Josh is at. That's, that's fine because, mm -mm. no, he knows. Mm -mm. Mm. No, he doesn't know. If he doesn't know, yeah. yeah, that's fine. But you have to educate yourself before you open your mouth as a celebrity oh, yeah. to yeah. millions of people that yeah, follow yeah, yeah. you. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. He's not just some random guy that no one knows about. Mm. He puts out things like, I'm vegan plus. What the yeah. hell is Look, that? I think don't water down exactly. veganism. Don't, don't water it down. Yeah. Use the right words for the right context. And Stick with plant-based diet. That has a, a definition. Stick with vegetarian. That has a definition. But And educate yourself and realise that hurting someone's feelings at a family event is not... It's not the issue here. The, it's the animal that has lost its life or his or her life. Um, that's what we need to focus on. And we could go on forever. I'm mm. sorry it's gone down a very dark path. But again, I, I would love to take Josh and experience what we just experienced and then talk to me about mac and cheese. You can have vegan mac and cheese. You can talk to your grandmother. You know, if, they, if your family members love you and accept you for you, then they should be understanding to, you know, Grandma, this really hurts my heart because I learned something and it's, why don't we try it out together and use um, vegan products this year? How about I make it for you? Yeah. That, would, that would make me so happy. It would. But, no. but if Josh is saying, uh, I'm not going to have a steak, but vegan, vegetarian, whatever. He's not there he's yet. Not he's there not there yet. Getting so he's not mm. going to be yet in that position to speak I with know. his grandmother because he's just... Doesn't, he doesn't he, get he it. clearly hasn't had enough education, mm. as the majority of people haven't, which is totally understandable because yeah. with every every vegan unless they were born a vegan and there's only very few that they, didn't, been, know. they didn't know at one point mm. so but just the whole again the watering down of the word yeah it's, it's disrespectful to the animals yeah but vegan vegetarian the, whatever no, it, it's matters, not, it matters it does matter it's, it's, it's a matter of mm. life and death yeah. literally what is more important than a matter of life and death yeah we'll link some videos down below so you guys can see what we've been part of, what we've seen, <clears throat> what other activists we've been working with have gone through and, and captured footage of. It matters. It matters. It, it matters. does. Yeah. All right. Let's take a few. Oh, you're doing my second one already. Mm How'd -hmm. you do that? Mmm. Oh, yeah. You didn't understand that, did you? Chips. Mmm. Very good. Okay, next topic. We've had so many requests for this. So many. Oh, wow. We've been inundated on we Snapchat have. and Instagram. Thank you. And people leaving YouTube comments as well. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you to everyone who has requested uh, mm. this story and all the stories that you guys request. We really appreciate we them. We do. If we, we wish we had the time to get around to a, making a video about every single one of them. We can't even respond to everybody at the moment. It's, it's just, just not, not possible. possible. So, but thank you so much for mm. sending them through. God, I'm enjoying this. Very, very good. Very good. Okay, so the story is, and we're glad we didn't cover it earlier because it's kind of Evolved. changed, hasn't it? Mm. Do you want to try and explain it? It's a bit, <coughs> excuse me, it's a bit technical. Yeah, we're going to link some articles in the description below this video where you can read more about the intricate, you know, descriptive details. Basically, in a nutshell, the UK Parliament, as we understand it, had to vote on whether to transfer a particular clause 
from some EU legislation. By EU, that's European, European Union. Union. Into domestic law within the United Kingdom because they have, uh, they're exiting the EU in 2019, is that right? Yep. Okay. So they're deciding what legislation we're going to keep, uh, transfer over and what we're not going to. And one of the things was relating to animal welfare or animal sentience, that type Basically, of... Basically, <coughs> oh, so sorry. <coughs> animal protection, sorry mm. about that. Basically, what, you know, in the realm of what kind of protection do animals have under the law, that yeah. type of thing. So anyway, they voted by a slim majority not to transfer this particular clause from the EU legislation to domestic law. And that was misinterpreted. Well, initially, initially. it sounded like mm. they didn't think that animals were sentient beings, meaning they couldn't um, feel emotion or pain. Mm. And there was uproar about it this. It sounded like that the, the UK Parliament had voted that they, they weren't sentient, yeah. that animals weren't sentient. Yeah, and there was uproar about this. Oh, sorry, mm. um, a lot of it came from social media, which was very interesting. Um, people were just like, what do you mean we have to protect animals and they are sentient and how can you not think that they can feel? You know, we know that science tells us that, but you don't even need science. I mean, just look if you at step your... on a dog's tail, if it yelps, yeah, it can, they feel, can pain. feel pain. You know, when you come home and your dog comes running over and it's all happy, that's emotion. And its tail's wagging, yeah, it's emotion. You know? yeah. So there was uproar. And what we thought was really interesting was all these people that were getting very upset about it, not all of them are vegan, of course. No, because. So 99% you know, of the population is non-vegan, only 1% mm. are vegan, and it wasn't that 1% making all of that noise no. and, and protesting, it was a lot of non-vegans, yeah. in fact the majority of people. That's right, and even the RSPCA were getting involved saying how bad this was, and I mean, such hypocrisy. The RSPCA approved farms are atrocious. Check out The Land of oh. Hope and Glory by Earthling Ed. We're going to link it in the description below. We've actually done a review. We of have, the, and of a the, podcast interview with Ed. That's right, we'll link both below. Yeah. And you can see how animals are raised on an RSPCA approved farm and see if it's any different to your eye oh. to a non-RSPCA approved farm. And this is an organisation that will hold a barbecue fundraiser. So they're, they're cooking up one animal to raise money for cats, dogs and koalas and yeah. you know special animals that we favour. They're That's not right. food animals. It's a very speciesist organisation, oh. isn't it? Yes. So for them to come in and say, you know, animals are sentient and feel pain and emotion. It's like, well, yeah, they, they absolutely do, including the ones that you put on your barbecue fundraiser over there. Exactly. So... And it also reminded us of, I believe, uh, during the Yulin Dog Festival in yes. China, a lot of people in the UK were protesting outside the Chinese embassy in the UK, mm. in London, I think it was, uh, about, you know, the cruelty that the Chinese are putting the dogs through. Meanwhile, the majority of those people protesting, again, were non-vegans. Yeah. So if you're still eating animals, then you're participating in, or you're paying for animal cruelty, um, whether you think it's a good farm or not, at the end of the day, they all end up at the slaughterhouse and they are nothing kind or humane about taking someone's life who doesn't want to die. Yeah. So, so. as it turns out, <laughs> the, as it turns out, they, the UK <clears throat> parliament has, or is it the prime minister that's come out? Oh yeah, look at that. Somebody, so, a politician, they, I think mm. it might be the Prime Minister or the Environmental... Uh, no, you're confusing person. it now. They've come out and said, look, you've yeah. misinterpreted. We haven't said that animals aren't sentient. They mm. are. And these new strategy, these new laws that we're going to bring in um, going will to protect be... animals even more than the current legislation. That's right. So as far as we see it, guys, because everyone was asking, what is our opinion? How terrible is this? Look, this for us is a welfare issue. Mm. So talking about the treatment and the conditions of certain animals. Yeah. Now that's both welfareist mm. and speciesist. Yeah. What what really matters because that doesn't yeah you know, yeah we spoke about this the other day. If you're a chicken in a cage with five other chickens, and a law is passed that says you know you can have an extra you know ten square centimeters or something like that, and and we're going to reduce the number of chickens in a cage from six to four. Okay, you probably take that. You're As still in, going you to be killed. You know, your life right. is still miserable, but you get an extra yeah. bit of space. If they ban the cages, for example, and then you're just in a massive uh, cage in the form of a shed that 
you know, can house hundreds of thousands of birds mm. um, and you're all still crammed in together and your conditions, are, you know, you're still living in your feces and what have you. Is it better than being in a cage? Yes. Is it still better than not? Is it, it's not as good as being free and, no, have, yeah. and being entitled to, to live your life the way you want to. Exactly. So, so these, you know. And there's a great video actually from Bite Size Vegan. We'll link that down below. It's, it goes into this issue in much better detail than yeah. we're trying to spit out now. Because and we totally these, agree with what you said right. in it. Because often these well, welfare reforms, are, they often take years to implement yes. as well. Yes. In fact, she also did a, um, a speech in Ireland about their welfare system and their laws. And it was fabulous. It went into because, such great detail. That's right, because the Irish people believe that their animals are treated <laughs> far superior than all treatment by other countries around, exactly. them, around but the world. Exactly. Basically, we'll link them down below. Mm. Please go and watch them. It's a very important issue. And, you know, what we want to say is that if we are waiting for politicians to introduce laws and policies and regulations and all of this, do you know how long it's going to take to free animals? That's never going to happen because the laws are not saying that we can no longer uh, own animals as property and eat them. And until that is the law, we're always going to have cages full of sentient beings. That's right, because industries wouldn't allow politicians to pass legislation that would you know, abolish the use of animals because the industry's profits and bottom lines would mm. be hurt. So what we have to do as consumers, because you kind of look at it like a pyramid and you might say oh the government's at the top and then you've got uh, the industries and then here at the bottom you've got the consumers so as a consumer you might feel look I'm powerless here at the bottom the thing is the majority of this triangle is made up by consumers mm. and the consumers dictate what the industries do who then dictate what the government does we're so we're holding up, up this the system. system so if we collectively change our consumer habits and behavior to buy uh, plant-based products and not animal products then industry will change what it supplies mm -hmm. and then the policies that the government <laughs> makes will also change so we've got we actually whilst it looks like we're at the bottom not holding any of the cards we're actually holding all of the cards and we can bring the house down that's right so yeah we don't have to wait for policies and laws and things like that it's it's our everyday actions that will determine the treatment of animals. Yeah. If we stop buying it, they'll stop producing it. It's That's as simple right. as that. We'll Juice the, what is this? A lentil chickpea? Lentil veggie burger. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Choose this instead of the beef burger. You don't have to worry about how they're shooting the cow in the head because they won't be shooting the cow in the head. That's right. You know? It's that simple. So that's our response. <laughs> But yeah, it was interesting to see how the story kind of changed and evolved and, mm. and just the pressure that, that these MPs were coming under. And look, it's good because it does put the issue on the table. People do care. Definitely. And it showed with how many people were protesting, initially believing that, you know, the politicians had voted that animals don't have sentience, when in fact that's not what actually they did. <laughs> it, it showed how many people care about animals. Mm. Now the thing is, we just have to widen our circle of compassion from selected species of animals like cats and dogs and primarily cats and dogs but dolphins and whales depending on what nation you're from like the Japanese whale well, and blah blah blah. <laughs> anyway, basically every nation's people on earth need to widen their circle of compassion, include all species of animals in it. We're not going to use them or exploit them in any way. That's that's a vegan world. That's morally consistent. Mm. Any other way is morally inconsistent, or hypocritical, yeah. double standard, whatever you want to call it. And again, it's education that yeah. separates uh, people from widening their circles of compassion. That's so right. Hence just... why we do what we do, both online and uh, now as we've experienced more of the street activism, just trying to show people what, that what some... we once didn't know ourselves. Exactly. And it's, it, there's something very, very real going on here. When you have baby dairy calves, not dairy calves, when you have baby calves that are were sitting in a pen waiting to be slaughtered, they're mm. babies. There's a waste products uh, by the dairy industry because they're males and they don't produce milk. They're not profitable. No. And they're sucking on the fingers and chewing on the clothes of activists that are recording undercover footage. Because they desperately they're want desperate to suckle on their mother's teats. Yeah. For milk and they want affection and they're just 
babies. Literally, one day, two day, three day, four day, five days old. When you see that, and it's they're like, crying out for their mothers. Legislation, legislation, mate, that goes out the window. Just stop buying it. And and welfare schmelfare is all I have to say. It just it's frustrating because we know how simple the answer is, and this world likes to make it very complicated. Very, very complicated, mm. and we just try and simplify it. Mm. Just don't buy it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's how easy it is. And that's that whole bit of I don't of care what any politician says and does. It's just what the consumers are doing. That's it. Mm. If you're not vegan and this is all news to you, check out all of the links in the description below this video to further educate yourself about the topics that we've touched on today. And then you can make an informed choice about making more compassionate lifestyle choices. Yeah. This burger's been delicious. It's been absolutely fabulous. We've loved eating with you once more. We have. We're going to do this again in the future. If you enjoyed the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Please leave your comments down below about anything that we've talked about today. We would love to hear from you, as always. We would, and please keep your requests coming so we can pick and choose what we're going to delve into in our future videos. Yes, the requests that we get the most the topics that we get the most requests for. That's all, what we do. That's it. Mm. Thanks so much for watching. Again, by the way, let us know what you're eating. Did we mention yes, that again? We, did. we really want to hear we it. Did. It's good. Give this video a thumbs up, share it around, make sure you subscribe to the channel, mm. ding the bell, check the box. I haven't said that in a while, have we? To turn on <laughs> notifications. And remember until next time that going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the absolute least we can do. The animals' lives are depending on it, guys. Choose the veggie burger. See you next video. Bye, guys.